There's lots of different ways to say hello. In Italian, ciao. In French, bonjour. In Cantonese, you say ni huma. In Hebrew, shalom means hello. It also means peace. So shalom alechem, everybody. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom alechem. Hey, shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Shalom, shalom, shalom alechem. Shalom, evanu shalom, evanu shalom alechem. Here are some people getting ready to do finger painting. Finger paint feels so smooth and squishy and oozy. It comes in lots of colours. And if you need more, you can drop another spoonful on the table. You can paint with your friends and make lots of whirls and stripes and patterns as you move the paint around and about. <laughs> Sometimes you can mix the colours as the paint swirls around. I like spreading it over the table and squeezing it between my fingers. It feels soft and slimy on my hands. But you need to wear a special apron so you don't get it on your clothes. Listen to the way these children describe it. Wiggles, let's get a move on. Lily Lavender will be here any moment now. Just the sound of her name. Lily Lavender, the world's most beautiful movie star. Wow, and she's coming here to visit us. It's very exciting. Hope she likes Wiggle House. We've been working for hours to make sure it's nice and clean for her visit. What's this, Anthony? Oh, and how did that get there? Glad to see you're on the ball, Greg. I'll just fix that up. Who goes there? This is Lily Lavender, Queen of the Silver Screen, Superstar of Celluloid. The diva of drama! The... Yes, 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 yes. And I'm Captain Feathersword. No, you're not. This is ridiculous. I have an invitation to visit the Wiggles. I have arrived and I expect to be allowed in. First, you must take the test. 
Tess. The test. Test schmest. Open up, you bold door, before I become unhinged. Very well. Miss Lavender, <clears throat> it is an yes, honor. Yes, yes, my dear fellow. Now, where can I sit? Oh, right over here, of course. This way. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. Enough, enough. I'm fine. No more fussing. Now, I have something I wish to discuss, so let's get on with it. Well, certainly, but uh, first, won't you have a nice cold glass of water? Um, Murray, get Miss Lavender a glass of water. Uh, Murray? Forget the water. Now, I must tell you, I saw a Wiggles concert last week, and I was very, very impressed. My niece... Jasmine. Jasmine. She loves your songs and dances, especially Wake Up Anthony. Wake up, Jeff. Jeff. Wake up, Jeff. Well, we do love to sing and dance your love, Miss And you do it all so very well. Now, I must admit, it got me thinking. You see, I need a new leading man for my next enormously expensive Hollywood movie. He must be handsome. Brave, kind, and smart. And so I thought of you fine young men. Well, I won't let you down, Miss Lavender. What makes you think it's going to be you, Greg? Yeah. You are all very special. But it's true, I can only take one of you along with me to star alongside me in my next movie. Lily Lavender gets married. <gasps> Mar married? Who will marry Lily in her next movie? How will she choose? What will they do to impress her? So, I want each of you to show me your best skill. Whoever makes the best impression will be my new leading man. So who would like to go first? Anthony? Well, um... What do you do best? I like to eat! Um, Jeff? That's easy. Jeff's really good at falling asleep. Oh, I see. <laughs> Greg? Please watch closely as I, Greg the Great, turn that old flower pot into a beautiful white dove. <laughs> Oops. And lastly, Murray. Murray, here's your chance to be Lily Lavender's leading man. Here's your guitar. Go on, show her what you can do. Mm. Oh. <laughs> yes, that was very good. Mm. So, what's your decision, Miss Lavender? Well, I'd like to thank you all for trying. But as you know, there can only be one winner. And so, I have great pleasure in announcing my new leading man will be... Oh, this chap, this funny fellow. Talented. Captain Feathersaw? The friendly pirate! That's me! Ha <laughs> ha! Well, pack your things, Captain Feathersaw. You're coming with me. I'm going to make you the biggest name on the high seas. A movie star! See ya! We're having some fun playing with some dough, coloured dough. The good thing about dough is you can do lots of things with it. You can uh, roll it, rolling it, and you can mush it up in your hands like that. Kaylee and Thomas are doing that. So is Christopher and Dominic. 
You can also um, clap it, clap with it. <laughs> and a really good thing you can do with dough, you can put it on the, on the table like that and start hammering it if you like. Joni works with one hammer, one hammer, one hammer. Joni works with one hammer, then she works with two. Joni works with two hammers, two hammers, two hammers. Joni works with two hammers, then she works with three. Joni works with three hammers, three hammers, three hammers. Joni works with three hammers, then she works with four. Joni works with four hammers, four hammers, four hammers. Joni works with four hammers, then she works with five. Joni works with five hammers, five hammers, five hammers. Joni works with five hammers, then she goes to sleep. Henry the octopus lives down in the deep blue sea. Henry the octopus, he's a friend to you and me. Hi, everybody, or as we say in octopus language, three boop. It was a lovely day in the ocean. The water was cool, clear and blue. Henry the octopus lived in his house under the sea. Henry was well known for his lovely boater hat. His friends in the underwater big band asked him where he had got such a lovely hat. My dear mother Henrietta found it floating in the ocean and gave it to me when I was a little octopus, said Henry. Jacques the shark wore something called a beret. He had found it floating in the ocean and all good saxophone players need a beret. Some of Henry's friends wanted to wear a hat as well, but there were none to find. Henry told them, If you want to wear something on your head, why don't you make your own hats? Let's see what we can find. It's amazing what you can find on the bottom of the sea. That would be fun. And so Henry's friends started to gather materials to make hats and wigs. The catfish and Jacques thought that seaweed and seagrass would be good material. Hey catfish, this seaweed is going to look so cool. You'll be the hippest cats in your school. And so the catfish worked with the seaweed and grass, gathering and tying it together until they both had a wig. They were both very proud of their creations and put them on top of their heads to show the others, singing. Yeah, 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 I want to dance with a clam. The catfish had done very well. Everyone thought the wigs were so clever and very funny. Some of Henry's other friends had been hard at work as well. The two fishettes loved the idea of something beautiful to wear on their heads. Show us all what you have done, fishettes. I am sure it will be beautiful. And so the fishettes showed what they had made, twirling this way and that way. Oh, aren't they wonderful? But what are they? asked Henry. They, they are our tiaras made from broken coral. We, we think, think that we will wear them on special occasions like the Belugi Ball. The coral tiaras were truly beautiful, but there was someone else who had made something. Tom the Trout had got together with Joey and had something quite special. What have you got, Tom and Joey? Come and show us all your special hat. Henry turned around. He heard someone calling out. Ahoy there, me hearties. It's a pirate party. It was Tom the Trout, sounding like a pirate and looking like Captain Feathersword. Henry asked, Did you make that pirate hat? No, said Tom. Joey had found it in a pirate shipwreck. What a clever little crab. And now, everyone, let's have a hat parade. March around with your heads up high while the band plays. What an adventure and what a great day. Did you enjoy the hat parade? Yes, it was a lot of fun. It's always fun with Henry the Octopus. Ahoy there, me hearties! You're all welcome here!
friend wags the dog along. Only he always eats everything. But not this time. This time I've got all these yummy goodies just for myself. <laughs> oh yes indeed. I'm so hungry I can hardly wait. <laughs> now, what shall I start with first? A yummy apple! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. An orange maybe. Shiver me timbers! <laughs> Fruit salad, me favorite. <laughs> oh, would the wags love to get his paws on this? <laughs> oh, I need a spoon. Now, spoon. Where is it? Oh dear. Oh, here it is. Now, my yummy fruit. But it was here. I didn't need it, did I? Oh, no, 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 no. It was just... Oh, never mind. I've got lots of other yummy goodies in here that I know Wags would love to eat. Oh, oh. I know. I'll have some pie. Oh, yes. A yummy slice of pie. Mm. Oh. Anybody take a slice of pie from that plate, sir? Uh, excuse me, sir. Did you see anyone? Well. Oh. Okay. There's something familiar about that fellow. is definitely going on. First my fruit salad disappears, then my yummy pie. But at least I still have my ice cream. Oh, nothing's gonna stop me from having this. Oh, oh, I don't know what's going on, but I do know I have an ice cream in my hand and soon it will be in my mouth. Oh, nothing is gonna spoil this. Oh, my God. 
I hear this music, whenever I hear this song, I just can't stop dancing and you can dance along. Nod your head up and down, then twirl your hands round and round. Point one toe and then the other, or wiggle if you'd rather. Whenever I hear this music, whenever I hear this song, I just can't stop dancing and you can dance along. Turn your head from side to side, then wave your hands way up high. Stamp your feet, then stamp again. Jump until the end. Whenever I hear this music, whenever I hear this song, I just can't stop dancing, and you can dance along.